I'm in Dubai and this villa is worth more than 250 crores and I'm going to show you why. Let's go. So this is the entrance hall and can we please take a minute and appreciate this beautiful light piece it's fully custom made there is no plate in the ceiling each piece hangs individually from the ceiling itself it's absolutely stunning and i want you to see the marble inlay on the floor it's to die for so i'm going to take you to one of my favorite rooms already which is the home office it is full of this dark wood that adds a lot of richness to it how lovely is this table i think whoever owns this house will not really go to the office too often and there is a lovely seating space so you can entertain and it's right by the entrance of the house so whenever guests come to meet whoever's working here they don't have to enter the whole house please show the fireplace there are multiple fireplaces one is more beautiful than the other So now I'm going to take you through the corridor and look at the beautiful arch over here the way this entire corridor is framed with these marble pillars and you have to see these two grand staircases come here you have to see it which is of course in the middle you have an SX piano that uh, is a ghost piano it plays automatically and for those of you who don't want to climb the staircase there is this elevator now i'm going to take you to what i think is the showpiece of this villa it is the dining room these are two gorgeous baccarat chandeliers there are four sconces to match on the wall and the furniture is all completely made in house 100% customized 20 seater dining table ladies and gentlemen and this is the formal living room so the feeling is this soft classical neo classical vibe again another beautiful fireplace and look at the molding look at the molding look at how the marble color is used you know the same piece of marble is used for the fireplace it is not easy to do this material is not malleable it's not an easy material but they've done an exquisite job with it and of course it opens up to this beautiful patio and this is the outdoor space there's ample seating over here this is a bit indoor outdoor it does get warm in dubai so this is a lovely space to have look at the outdoor furniture and i'm going to take you down there and this pool is absolutely stunning because it's accompanied by this lounge space please see the fire pit it's gorgeous I can see myself entertaining a lot over here and it's accompanied by this outdoor dining table. I'm sure you can imagine lovely Sunday brunches right here. You can have a barbecue over there. There's an outdoor fridge. The whole family can be seated here. It's a lovely way of spending the day. See the architectural structure from the outside. It has this very royal classic look to it. It signifies a lot of strength it's all marble detailing it's absolutely stunning and if you want another outdoor seating then there is this outdoor bar on the other side of the pool you have multiple ways of uh, entertaining over here i can see another party happening on this side so now that i've shown you the seven different seating areas that are available outside i'm going to give you more options to choose from on the inside On the inside they have a family lounge and even though the house is really big they haven't left any space empty they've actually detailed every single nook and corner even a little space like that everything is hand carved over here the lotuses the back paneling it's absolutely stunning so now there are two ways of entering the family lounge one from the outside through these sliding doors and the other from inside This takes you straight to the bar area and you have to see the textured stone that they have here. It's an acid wash and it gives that very raw feeling which is nice for a bar. This space has been left where you can install a 100 inch TV and the flooring has backlit onyx to give it that fun vibe that you need 
in a bar. And this is a games table. Once you remove the top, you actually get a full-on poker table below. There is a beautiful chess set here and there's ample space for the rest of the family to chill while multiple games are going on. This family lounge actually connects to the formal living here or you can go through this door and go through the corridor which takes you to the inner courtyard. And the inner courtyard has this beautiful fountain in the middle. It's made completely of stone. It's a nice place to read a book, to have intimate conversations, especially in the evening. And there are multiple ways of coming into the space from the house and then going to other parts of the house. I am now going to re-enter the house and I'm going to take you up the stairs. And now we've entered back into the house and into the grand staircase. It's all marble and of course between the two staircases is this grand piano. Take a look at the artwork behind me. Isn't it absolutely classy? I like the self on self design. I like the whole idea where this house is big and palatial. It's not garish and loud. It's a house that even 25 years later will still look as beautiful as it does now. This is one of the two master places that are in this mansion. This is the master suite area which has all the seating. It has a beautiful fireplace with a TV above it. And right next to it on the other side is the bed. A bit more privacy. There's a lovely desk where you can sit and quickly do some work. And I love the bedding. Even the bedding, look at the detailing of this. Even the bedding has been thought out. Every texture used, every fabric used has been meticulously thought of. It's not just the bigger items, but it's also the smaller items. It's not a master suite in a mansion without a gorgeous bathroom and walk-in closet. Now this is a bathroom and walk-in closet that would make even Sex in the City jealous. The walk-in wardrobe has this beautiful veneer. It's a dark color that really gives it a luxurious look. And even the wardrobes have marble and veneer side by side at the back. It has a very plush look. So anyone who's living here better go shopping to Dubai Mall very quickly. Follow me to master bedroom number two. So master bedroom two has two walk-in wardrobes. One right here and one right here. His and her can figure out which one they want. And personally, this one is a favorite. The bedroom has this very neutral tone and even the carpets are custom made just for this home. Every single piece of furniture is custom made just for this home. You're not going to find this anywhere else. The detailing of the flooring with the marble inlay with the mother of pearl inlay in the bathroom is just stunning. The bathroom has this beautiful marble arch and the countertop has this mother of pearl inlay which gives it a very luxurious look. And the master bedroom connects to the family area. The family area is a lot more casual, while downstairs, the formal area has this soft classical, neoclassical look. This space has a lot more of a contemporary look. It has this large table so you can scatter around whatever you want as a family. And of course, it comes with this very beautiful pool table. And it's not just any pool table. This pool table is made of glass and I of course have to try my skill though I'm terrible at it but hey if I lived in a house like this I'm sure I could practice and play every day. Now this actually has its own little pantry area. My favorite area on this floor. I love the white marble that they've used. I love the finish. I even love the appliances and that's what I mean. The, the attention to detail has been so fantastic that you can really see it in every nook and corner. This I'm sure everyone watching can imagine themselves being here making a cup of coffee in the morning or chai if you like in the evening. And then of course, if you need to burn off a few calories, there is a gym, a massage room and a sauna and a steam room that is connected. The gym has all the equipment you could possibly need with the amenities that you need for after gym workouts. So you can actually leave the gym and come back to the family room and the family room connects to one more extra bedroom so you can have a guest or a cousin staying here and they've kept this room neutral as well but there are pops 
of burgundy which gives it that little different feel compared to the other rooms and not to forget another grand bathroom which is you know I, I think they've really gone on grand bathroom so the WC and the shower area is fully clad in marble in fact I don't think I've seen a single wall here that has been painted every wall has either marble or wallpaper or veneer and that's the quality of the finishing that they have they have thought of every single wall and now I'm going to exit this room I'm going to come back to the family area and this family area also has a lovely balcony that is overlooking the pool this balcony lets you see the entire seating area and the pool below there are seven seating areas or if your children are having a party and you want to spy a little bit this is the way to do it now I'm going to leave the balcony, I'm going to exit the family room and I'm going to walk through the corridor and show you the kids' bedroom. So this is the boys' bedroom and it's all blue. It's wrapped in this beautiful wallpaper with this lovely mirror design. And of course, there's a lovely study table with decor on either side. And now I'm going to take you to the bathroom. And I love this bathroom because they've really done a good book match of all the marble. And everything is clad in marble like it is in all the other bathrooms. Look at the height of it. It's looking so grand and it has that grey bluish look to it. It's a very well chosen stone. And I like how they've chosen to put wooden flooring in this room because it has that grounding feeling, that warm feeling which is needed in a child's room. Even in the other room that I'm going to take you to and they've continued the same wooden flooring concept in the second child's bedroom and they've incorporated this light veneer with this light colored marble. Both have a fluted design and they've continued that look into the bathroom which again is fully clad in stone. It is beautifully book matched just like it was in the other bathroom. I think this is a stunner of a bathroom. You can add any color you want to accessorize it. I love the neutral palette. It really gives it that very posh feel. And with that, this tour comes to an end. I hope you enjoyed viewing this villa as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. Hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing a lot more home tours and I don't want you to miss out on it because each home I show is going to be fabulous. I'll see you in the next video.